All right, guys, we're going to do a quick video on the truck. We're going to review the truck. It's been one year and about, what, 16,000 miles on the truck. And we've actually pulled the truck behind the RV for pretty much the whole mileage of the RV, which is about 26,000 miles we've pulled that truck with no problems. But you can't flat tow an automatic. We'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet if you guys need some high speed internet. Link in the video description below. All right, before we go check out the truck, I wanted to show you guys, Candace already has her Christmas decorations up. There's our garland. There's our little tree. The lights aren't on right now. It looks pretty cool lit up at night. Our stockings. There's Chloe's and Annie's. And what else she got here? We got a, our mistletoe above the door. And then she's got this little Disney Christmas picture thing. And I got a what little, else? Little bird on top of oh, our, right she puts these on our seats during Christmas. They're, they're flipped around. She's supposed to be naughty. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not naughty. <laughs> yeah, you are. What else we got? A little bird on top of the fridge. Oh, a little bird on the fridge. And then on the shelf behind you. A little penguin. Oh, that's the one you got from yeah. Walmart. They actually made the glasses that didn't come with these. <laughs> and there's a little cat sign. Oh, I got that for... What else? Oh, yeah. We got that from Disney last year. It. No, the year before, the year before that, our first time at Disney World, pick that up. And we have lights outside this year. Yes, we have. I have lights for in here too. I have two sets of these that are going to go on, on the window, but on the other side of the thing, so you can see it from the outside, not the inside, because I don't want it flashing in my face when I'm watching TV. <laughs> but we'll let everybody else see it. These little trees that was here. That was decorating the place. She wrapped those in lights. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories old. And I've been long to hold you close. Forget about And then we'll head outside here. And she decorated this whole bush over here. She calls it a tree. It's like a big bush. <laughs> but it's decorated pretty much to the top but at nighttime it looks like half of half of a tree and like the top's been cut off but that's okay huh yeah it's adorable i love it so we've already done a video on hooking up the truck and putting it in tow mode it literally takes a few minutes i can usually i can unhook it and hook it up by myself but it's a little easier for me to line it up when i'm hooking it up if candace just drives the truck and i just tell her you know which way to go back and forth and then line it up and then you unlock these and they come out really easy and it gives you some play and go back and watch that video if you're interested on how you hook it up and stuff usually when we unhook it somewhere i do it myself because it's just it's really easy putting the truck in tow mode only takes a couple minutes so what do you think about the truck I love it. I mean, at first I was a little nervous because we had a smart car and this is a big truck, but I got used to it really fast. It's very easy to drive. There's a backup camera, so you can't, I mean, it's, it's easy to drive, easy to get into, very comfortable. It sits up really high, so you'd think it would be hard to get in and out of, but the step is perfect and you just step right up and it's easy. Should I demonstrate? Sure. <laughs> but as far as being a tow vehicle, it's a great tow vehicle. I mean, it it pulls behind us really easy. I'm not going to say I don't know it's back there, you know. The truck weighs 4,600 pounds with the aluminum body, which is why we chose this truck to begin with. 
so with the razor in the back we were at about 5700 which isn't too bad but it's been a good truck for us so far we've put 16,000 miles on it in the past year and we have not had a problem with it not one problem it's... there is a recall on the seat back we have electric seats except for the back the back itself is operated by this and there's some kind of recall on it but we haven't took it in yet because we've never had a problem with it we put it in one position and it you know it never moves so we'll eventually take it to a ford and just have the recall done and have them look at it but it has pretty much every option we needed we didn't get all the options it's just an xlt 4x4 you have to get a 4x4 to be able to flat tow it you cannot flat tow a two-wheel drive there are some flat towable two-wheel drives but no trucks that i know of but i will put a link in the video description to motorhome magazine's tow vehicle guide so if you guys are looking for a tow vehicle it goes all the way back to the 90s to pretty much, I think, uh, maybe up to 2020. But literally every tow vehicle is on there. And there's also some things you have to keep in mind. That's why I would use this list, and I used it personally to find this truck. A lot of vehicles, you can only tow it so far before you have to stop and take it out of tow mode or start it or do something. Some vehicles, you have... Uh, miles per hour max you know like some you can only tow it like 60 or 65 miles an hour which is fine for most people a lot of people don't go over 60 65 in their rv pulling but if you want to do the speed limit you want to make sure you look at that okay so what else you want to say about the truck i wanted to show you how easy it is to get in but you put your foot here and it's very sturdy you can stand on it and then you just sit down and it's really easy and comfortable well there you go <laughs> it's not really why we bought it but it helped well yeah i want to be comfortable i had a minivan and it was really easy so i thought this truck as high as it was that i might not like it but yeah it's, it was an easy adjustment i originally wanted to get a regular cab long bed because it would have been the same length with a longer bed but we wouldn't have had a back seat but the truck would have been even like two or three hundred pounds lighter than what it is but candace didn't want a regular cab just in case and the back seat has come in handy yes. i love having the back seat the back door you can open all the way so it's out of your way like that the back seats go up really easy i think it's what is it a 60 60 40 split i think mm -hmm. might be more than that but all you do is push it and it locks up that quick and then to put it back down you just grab that that's it and tons of storage in this big centerpiece and that's also another seat yeah well it's actually a six passenger because the front is like a bench seat mm -hmm. and it's nice being able to the reason i wanted a back seat mainly was if it's raining it doesn't matter i can always go get groceries or anything we need and we yeah. it's safe it's locked up and it won't get wet yeah i'm definitely glad we got the extended cab four door was not even an option for one thing i really don't care for four door trucks and four door trucks always have a lot shorter bed than what we have unless you get a long bed for four door truck which is kind of kind of rare and it would have been even a longer truck than what it is so yeah it, it's just right for yeah. us anyway well, because we have the razor black was not our first choice because no. it does show the dust it's very hard to keep it clean but i i love black it is hard to keep clean though yeah our original pick was white but they wouldn't sell us the white one that we picked out because of the it already had the recall for the seat in Missouri. So we went to Kansas and purchased this one because Kansas hadn't got the recalls yet so they could sell it to us. Yeah. And it was the exact same white truck we had picked out with the exact same options, just in black. But one of the main reasons we picked out this truck is because it has the heavy duty springs on the back. 
So when we put the razor in the back, the truck pretty much levels out. Mm -hmm. Right now, the back kind of sets up higher than the front. I don't know if you'll notice it on camera here, but a couple inches. When the razor's in it, it'll drop down probably two, three inches and be pretty much completely level. And we've drove it quite a bit with the razor in the back and it does not bottom out. So mm -hmm. we feel confident and safe with it back behind the RV. And I usually try to keep an eye on it with the rear view camera anyway, just in case. But... And whenever we stop, we check, make sure our straps are still tight and everything looks good. Yep. So I think that's about it, guys. We're going to enjoy the desert out here. Candace is going to go visit some friends today while I work because I still have to work or you wouldn't get videos. <laughs> <laughs> Annie's just over here hanging out. We can let her off her chain right here in the campsite because she knows not to go far and she will stay right here. Yeah. She won't go farther than what she can see you. She'll always look back and make sure she can see you. But we make sure she don't get too close over here to the wash and stuff because we hear coyotes every single morning. You hear coyotes wandering through the wash here. And sometimes they sound really, really, really close. So yeah, definitely keep your pets close out here. Even a big dog, a cow pack of coyotes will try to lure a big dog away and they will kill it if there's enough of them. Our RC track is looking awesome. I'll probably play again here in a little while. It gets super dusty though. But yeah, nobody's super close to us here. So if they don't like the dust, they can move. There's plenty of camping areas here. Right. We was here first in this spot anyway. So yeah. Somebody said that it was it, it was it was rude of us or something that we claimed this big area here. What they don't understand is there's literally thousands and thousands of acres here still, you know, and, and, and this spot was already done anyway. Exactly. It was already lined out and all that. So we just kind of fixed Pe it up. People claim a lot bigger spots up here. Ours is about as big as anybody else's. It's no bigger than that one. It's no bigger than that one. Yeah. People are crazy. Perfectly fine. Yep. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap this one up, and we will see you guys very soon. Yep. Thanks for watching. Leave us a comment. Ding that bell. Check us out on social media. All the links and info are in the video description below. You never seen me clean up? Is that what you're trying to say? It's not on, is it? Yes, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I never see you clean up your stuff. I think it belongs on the table. I'm filming right now, in case you didn't know that. Oh, they should know you leave your stuff on the table. I don't leave my stuff anywhere. <laughs>